Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Kicking into April 1st tomorrow. You're going to love it. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 178, NASDAQ is off 32, SP's off 16 and a half, gold contract up $9.60 straight at 1943 an ounce. We have silver down five cents, twenty-five dollars six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude off seven dollars twelve cents a barrel. Notes and bonds: the ten-year note up seven ticks, trading one twenty-two twenty-seven. The thirty-year up nineteen ticks at one fifty oh one. And king dollar, king dollar is up four hundred seventy-four ticks, trading ninety-eight two sixty-five. Euro one ten, yen one twenty-one point five seven. The British pound at one thirty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. One know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, so we got the ABC structures up, and the S and P as well as the NDX one hundred. The way this market's trading, you should start looking for some short positions here. That's the bottom line. I suspect what well, you're going to see out here tomorrow. I think we're going to have an up market tomorrow, and the reason I'm, I do is this Wednesday. You had a high, vol high volume high. We're laying out at 86. Well, first off, the price projection inside the SPY, folks, okay, is 478. Uh, Thus far, we've made it to 462. That was Wednesday. Now, yesterday we backed down, so we had a high of 86 million. You backed down with 79, and you can see today, though, you're only at 46. So you, you covered the gap that was there, and you don't have any selling. So that's telling me that, you know what, this thing's going to try to finish off. But I think when I look at the broader market, when you look at a lot of these equities, a lot of these equities have broken down. There's a lot more that are breaking down. So we'll see where it shakes out. But my, my take is that this is the last lunge forward before we come back downtown again. That's in the SPY. NDX 100, the setup actually looks even better. You know, and we know that the NDX 100 is the um, weakest indice. But right now, it's deviant, man, and right now it looks like it rejected that, you know, it went to the gap of uh, 365.01. We hit 364.34, and guess what? It's rejected it, and we will have lighter volume. Right now, we only get 40 million shares. This thing will maybe do about 52 million. So what that's also telling me is that, guess what? Bottom line, that can push this thing up, and the price projection of the Qs is a lot lighter also than the SPY. The Qs were never basically saying they're going to the high. They say they're going to uh, 390. So we'll see whether they can make it, but it's, it's a heads up, man. Gold. Gold contract out here. What do you have with the gold contract? We get a sideways to higher move. I want to see more contract volume, though. We only have 136,000 contracts. It is peaking its head up. That's the bottom line. Still like to see a lot more contract volume. And I suspect, you know, we'll get it, but the bottom line is not here right now. You know, that's, that's how that's shaking out. And good old King Dollar. We go take a look at King Dollar. What we have a King Dollar out here is that it saved itself. You know, I mean, quite clearly, too. This is, <laughs> this is pretty wild. You know, the bottom of this uh, rectangle, well, you know, we'll see, we'll see how this shakes out. And we'll also see uh, if, in fact, the dollar can basically stay higher as we come into the close. Because what we've seen many times is this. We've seen the aspect that good old King Dollar, if for some reason it likes to sell off coming into the close. And, you know, we'll, we'll see if that's going to shake out. Uh, there we go. We're going to see if this is going to shake out um, as we basically come into the close out here. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here, you have um, Advanced Micro, that's getting smoked. That's down eight and a half dollars. We have uh, Bank of America off a buck 33. You have Ma Bell down 33 cents. Intel's off a buck 41. You got Hewitt uh, Packet off 223. Let's go over. I want to take a look right now at BAC. These banks, man. 
If these banks are already going down, yeah, this is interesting. So, the, so watch this. Yeah, so the B Bank of America did a 50% retracement. Yeah, this is telling us quite a bit. So Bank of America is backing down. So from the highs to the lows, Bank of America did a 50% retracement, has light of volume at those highs, and now you're coming back downtown. And so watch why it's important to look at the banks, folks. So what you have is this. When you have interest rates that are going up, spreads are going up so banks make more money. That's fine at the beginning. What ends up happening, though, if the prices, which are high already, and then the interest rate structure starts going up heavier, meaning faster, what ends up happening is that that's how you get thrown into recession, okay? And as you get thrown into recession, the banks are going to go lower. Why? Because they have so much money that's lent out there. Then they find out who doesn't have a bait and suit on when the tide's going out. That's kind of, you know, I mean, so let me go look at J.P. Morgan here for a second, too. Because, see, what ends up happening is, is that in this type of environment at the beginning of the cycle, meaning, you know, the inflation going, banks should be eating this up, and they're not. And they're selling it off. J.P. Morgan's down 270. You're trading 137. 30 million. No. 10. Yeah, J.P. Morgan is breaking a little swing, and it's going to have volume. So that's not, that's not a good situation. Um at all, meaning market-wise. That's how this thing is shaking out. And we, we do have, let's see, this lower range stats. Yeah, there you go, man. This is weird. Okay, so when, you, when we take this and we put it on a larger chart also, J.P. Morgan this is, and J.P. Morgan is one of the, you know, technically, fundamentally, it would be one of the better banks that are out here when we're talking fundamentals. And it's in the lower range. And when you're in the lower range, it's a problem, right? That's, that's anything under 140, 110 is a problem because then, it's, then it opens up, wide open up for the lows that were established at the March pandemic two years ago. How's that? I can't even believe I'm saying that myself. Dow Industrials right now down 202, NASDAQ's off 55, S&P's off 21. Stay right there, folks, come right back.